Hey everybody, today we're going to be tying up the Granum Caddis. This is the nymph form, the larva form. So I'm going to get a hook in the vise here and we'll get to tying. I have a size 14 jig hook. I'm going to pair that up with a three millimeter black slotted tungsten bead. Get that in there real nice. I'm also going to be using some Vivas 4 uh, This is like a brown thread. The thread color really doesn't matter. I, I just prefer the thinness of this one, which is why I'm using it. I don't need a ton of bulk for this fly. So we're going to get a thread base started, snip off our excess. What we're going to use for... The actual caddis is going to be glow bright. This is the fluorescent green. And you want to pull off quite a bit of this. And basically, what I do is I try to find roughly the center. And I'll pinch that. Cut. I'll do do that about three times. Just basically you're making a, a thicker piece. I'll show you my secret for keeping all these strands together here in just one moment. This is all personal preference on how thick you want the, the larva to look. So once you have all of those pieces together, try to keep them somewhat aligned. It makes the tying easier. I take some hackle pliers and I'll capture them within the teeth of the hackle pliers. That way, you know, these little strands can just about go anywhere real quick. Just keeps everything a little bit tidier. Before I put this glow bright onto the hook, I will wet it with my mouth just keeps the fibers a little bit more together. Then I will capture that. Try to get it on the top of the hook if you can. Pull it. Work your way down. And back. Now, what I like to do is I will cut this just about right away. You don't need a ton. You can see just it's it's... Not much. Once I've cut the butt, I'll take my hackle pliers again. And then I don't have to worry about these. I don't have to worry about these separate strands getting lost. Just keeps it a little nicer. Keeps my workstation a little nicer. So next, what I like to tie in is some sulky thread or sulky tinsel. This stuff has really, really good breaking strength for its diameter. It's also a little difficult to work with, but it's worth it. So I will then get that started. And you can kind of see what we're doing here. Normally, when you're tying the tying a nymph, you want the, the thicker part up here. Well, that's not the case with this. We're kind of building this backwards, considering this is the bug. And this is going to be our case. So, I like to keep the back end a little thick. Not much. And it doesn't make a huge difference if you do this or not, but... It's something I, I, I like paying a little bit of attention to detail. So the next thing we use is some dubbing. This is Dave Whitlock dubbing. This is Dave Whitlock dubbing, and the color is Red Squirrel Nymph Thorax. So, really, really good looking stuff. And that's this right here is probably going to be too much. Doesn't take a ton. Just going to dub this up. Make a pretty decent dubbing noodle. And again... I try to keep the back end a little thicker than the front end. So 
So now we will start putting the dubbing onto the hook. Again, I'm trying my best to keep that back end a little bit thicker than the front end. It's, you know, it's difficult, but it's doable. So once we get that, the thread back up to the front, I'm going to take the sulky tinsel. Make some counter wrapping thread wraps. This just gives it a little flash and pizzazz. It's nothing crucial, but it does give really good durability because this stuff's pretty strong. Then I will do a three turn whip finish on this. One, two, three. And lastly, I like to just give it a little haircut. Nothing crazy. The The real caddis really doesn't have anything sticking out. It's kind of smooth, but this will still work. And there you have it. That is the Case Caddis or the Case Granum Caddis. So, yeah, leave a like. Let me know how you like this. Hopefully, this helps you guys catch some more fish. Thanks for watching.